Hey, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, let's perform a significance test for mu. The level of dissolved oxygen, DO, in a stream or river is an important indicator of the water's ability to support aquatic life. A researcher measures the DO level at 15 randomly chosen locations along a stream, and the results in milligrams per liter are noted here. Now, a dissolved oxygen level below 5 milligrams per liter puts aquatic life at risk. So for this problem, we need to figure out whether or not we have convincing evidence at the alpha equals 0.05 level that the aquatic life in this stream is at risk. And then given that conclusion, determine which kind of mistake, a type 1 or a type 2 error, could we have made, and explain what this mistake would have meant in context. Well, to start with, let's state our problem. We want to test a claim about the true mean dissolved oxygen level mu in this stream at the alpha equals 0.05 level. Our hypotheses are the null hypothesis that mu equals 5 against the alternative hypothesis that mu is less than 5. If the conditions are met, we should do a one sample t test for mu. So let's check the conditions. First of all, the researcher measured the DO level at 15 randomly chosen locations, so our random condition is met. For our 10% condition, we notice there's an infinite number of possible locations along the stream so it isn't really necessary to check that condition. Finally, for normal and large sample, we don't know whether the population uh, distribution of DO levels at all points along the stream is normal. With such a small sample size of only 15, we need to look at the data to see if it's safe to use T procedures. We note that the histogram looks roughly symmetric, the box plot doesn't show any outliers, and further, the normal probability plot is fairly linear. So with no outliers or strong skewness, the T procedures should be pretty accurate. 